Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to show you my new Webhook Service V4 module that I just released. It's 10 times more simple than the last Webhook module and it has way more features. So I'm just going to show you how to use it right away. So you can get it in the description below and then go to my models in the toolbox and then insert Webhook Service V4. And then you have this big module script right here. It has preset colors and a bunch of features. And it's pretty simple to use. So all you have to do to use it is insert a server script and then put the module in the script. And now we have to find the module in our webhook URL. So we do local module, or I'll just do uh, WS for webhook service equals require script.webhook service, local URL equals, and then I'll put my webhook URL here. Now we have to define our request, which is the main webhook request, and then we can configure that however we want. So we do local rec for request equals webhook service new, like that. And now we can do, I'm going to do a basic embed. So I'll do request dot title equals hello request dot description equals from webhook service v4. Oh, wait, don't put a comma. And then request dot color equals webhook service dot colors dot red request dot thumbnail equals and I'll put my logo as the thumbnail. You can put any image link you want and it'll work fine. So I'm just gonna copy my link right here. If you just put the image in Discord or something and then right click and then click copy link and then you could put it right here and it'll work. Uh, request dot footer equals test footer request dot footer icon equals that. And then now that we have the footer icon, we have to send the request. So we do request dot request send embed. And then we do URL like that. And then once we play it, it should send it to our Discord server. So you see we have hello from Webhook Service U4. We have the thumbnail and then we have the footer like that. There's no fields right now. So we can simply add fields how you did it in the V3 module. So to do that, we'll just do local fields equals open a table and then there open another table and I'll do name equals field one value equals field one value and then inline equals false and we do request dot fields equals fields and when you go and click play, it should send it with the fields that we put. See right here, we have hello from Surface V4, field one, field one value, the footer, everything else we had. Now, you can also do just regular messages by simply doing request dot content equals test. And then you can do request send message URL instead of send embed. And then we go to the Discord server. The webhook will just say test in normal text like that. Now you can do author embeds, which has like little player icon and stuff like that. So to do that, we'll do the same thing we did for our embed right here. But we do request dot author equals. I'll just put Lou escape for testing. Request that description. I'll put is cool, right? And then request the author URL. Or I think it's author link. Yeah, request the no. Yeah, author URL equals. And now to get the author, the player icon, we have to use a fork of the Roblox proxy created by Master three three nine five, and it's basically the Roblox default like a. Uh, headshot icon link but fork so it actually works since you know roblox is doesn't work anymore so i'll leave the link to this in the description basically right here where it says user id equals you'll put the player's user id um you can do it like manually by closing it off like this and then dot dot player dot user id dot dot and then another one like that 
if you have the player but i have the preset user id right now so i'm just gonna do it like that and then we do the color thumbnail footer icon like that oh, wait and then you got to change this to send author m embed and then url like that and then click play and then our discord server it says lou escape with the picture of my character it says is cool the fields and the footers and all that now you don't have to have all the stuff like the footers you can remove the footer um and you can just have it like this you can also add timestamps you can do request dot timestamp equals date time dot now colon to iso date or iso date i don't know what that is but then you click play and now instead of a footer it's just a timestamp that says today at 9 51 a.m you see it's 9 51 a.m and yeah if you need help with this you can join my server in the description below uh make sure to subscribe i want to get 2,000 subscribers before the end of 2023 and yeah